Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel. We're doing your <laughs> reading. What I told you, new boxes. <laughs> every week okay <laughs> so hold on okay let me let me do my spill over here well one i'm already wearing it okay this comes um this comes in a box this has some rose quartz in it and it's about love and hello okay <laughs> i can't pronounce this one but it's called lepre de cosite okay but everything that we packed um for this specific box is all about love okay intention wise receiving it from within, of course, us first, and then giving it to others. Okay, so so that's that. So check it out. And uh, the elixir that comes with is um, the affirmation elixir. So like you know, it's like you wanna spritz that around. You know, try it again. Okay, because I just don't want people to fall in love with me. They already are. Mm. Okay, there you go. Ooh. Mm. Okay, because this one. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. It's Maldivite water and rose water. That's why. It, uh, you know, how you use Moldivite, right? Oof, that and that crystal right there. Um, you can see there's some Moldivite at the bottom. Um, that crystal right there is for manifestation. It can speed up the level of your, if you're trying to, um, you know, like awakening and stuff like that. That's what I used the Moldivite before. So it comes with that. So that's that. Now hold on. Okay, Scorpius, you know that it's going get, to get longer anyway. Um, uh, this particular box also comes with a seven-day free trial with astrology app that I have. Oh, hello, seven-day free trial. Just get it. It goes into your email. Okay, so check that out. And of course, the reading with me, the raffle um, for different boxes is still on for this one also. So check it out. Okay. It's a 10-minute video. The order number is your raffle ticket. Here we go. We all know we need to sit down and wait. I mean, like, uh, <laughs> and get cozy and wait it out because uh, it's going to be a long one for the Scorpios here. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the readings are longer than your relationship. <laughs> it's true. Come on, Scorps. Mm -hmm. I'll talk about your webinar later. Okay. Let's see what's going on, Scorpios. The mid month. Crossovers are officially Gemini season. Everything in your eighth house. Okay. Because Sun is in Gemini now. Okay. Taurus seventh house. Gemini eighth house. Uh, Prince of Pentacles. Okay. This is my I'm connecting with someone who who likes to ride a bicycle. Okay. <laughs> or a motorbike. This is my motorbike. I'm using a different deck, so it gives different meanings. Okay. Um this is them. Well, one, I feel like they can be younger than you, for one. They like to get attention from you, um, and they feel like you should always be giving them that kind of attention, but you're not giving them that attention. They're a little bit upset about this, and they're taking it to themselves that they don't want to talk to you because none, anything that they're doing right now is not, they're not getting a reaction. They're not getting a reaction. Um, they want you to notice them for, uh, you know, like little deeds that they have given you. You're not amused about it. You're more of like, I really don't understand them, what they're trying to do. They're just confusing because if they do want to be with me, this game, this whole game of like, oh, look at me, notice me. Or, you know, doing little things just to make me notice them, it's not going to work out. No. So someone is trying to be cute. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. Uh, 
I don't know what to do anymore. So get the hangman. Okay. See that. Let's use a rendering. Normally the hangman is like this. You're waiting. Here in this hangman, you just want to burn the bridges. Okay. Just want to burn the bridges with this person. It feels like I surrender. You know, I give up on love. Like what else do I have to do? I've done my manifestation, my spiritual work. Everybody who told me to do this, you know, put some rose quartz on your arm, you know, because this, you know, hangman is very spiritual. Um, so you've done spiritual work. I've been praying. I've been, you know, cleansing my karma. And I've been like, I already cut cords. So I'm really going deep within, you know, trying to better my life. I feel like you're just more focused on bettering your life then. Because this is what you're saying. It's like, I want to be free. I want to start a new life. Do you want to forget all the pain? I feel like you're in so much pain and you're just telling yourself that like, if I can just have a peace of mind without even being bothered by a soulmate for now, I just need this time for myself. I just need this time for myself. I mean, interesting. It's not hermit, but you're definitely saying that. Mm -hmm. You're surrendering because this person... Oh, there you go. The Queen of Swords. Okay. Queen of Swords and the Hangman. Um, you feel like it's a Queen of Swords here. Look, there's a spindle. It's called like it's like a Wheel of Fortune there. It's like there's cobwebs over there. So things has been on delay, on hold for a very long time. And you're just saying here that um, things has to evolve, things has to change, you know. That's a Queen of Swords. Um, I feel that you know the, the this story has gotten so old you know you've gone through so much changes you 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 know it's like you're growing mature by the day and you don't find them attractive anymore like you're they used to be the number one now they're number i don't know three thousand and one okay <laughs> is right here like so there's a whole story of they like me it's just so old i can't even okay this libra Mm -hmm. It's your 12th house, and this is number 12 with the hangman. So you're really feeling like this is it, Sal. Like, I ain't I ain't attracted to them. Please get rid of them in my reading so I can have someone new because this has been the same scenario with any kind of reader. <laughs> I hear you. Because <laughs> this is cutting, right? And the hangman's like, I don't want to stick around here, Sal. Get me out of this person. Mm-hmm. But why are you thinking about them? That's the question. Five cups. So they can beg, they can ask me to stay, but my mind says no. My heart says no. But my soul is something else, because that's the one. See, that's the five of cups. They're begging, asking for forgiveness. They screwed up. There's milk and wine over there. Milk and you see, milk and honey. Can be Israel, isn't it? That's the land of milk and honey, Israel. Mm. An Israeli. Mm -hmm. Or a New Yorker. Right? Milk and honey is also New York. Five cups here. Um, asking for mercy from you. Forgiveness. Please forgive me. I've done wrong. But for you, it's just like, I can't even look at you in the eye anymore on how many times you've done this. They always do this. That's a problem, Scorpio. They always do. You know that this channel keeps giving, right? So the mid-month, I'm adding another line. Because mm, 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 mm. I love what I do. Okay. It's just so, it's, 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 ooh. <laughs> I'm excited when I read for you guys. Three of Wands with the Five Cups. Uh, they have high expectation that you will surrender to them. I'm not sure about that. Because I've never heard a Queen of Swords to change their mind when they're set. They're set. Okay. It's basically like your full face powder. Is it full? <laughs> Once it's set, it's set. Once you put that setting spray, it's done. Oh, we should come up with a setting spray. How about that, right? Call me. Um, what's that brand? Urban Decay. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see here. Three of Wands with the Five of Cups. They're, um, they're expecting, you know, they're really expecting, like, you know, like you would be such a nice person to them. To forgive them for what they have done, what you know, it's because they but they failed so much about relationship though. You wouldn't be hangman trying to burn the bridge if they didn't keep doing this. 
you probably have forgiven them how many times? One, two, three, four, reconcile five times, and it's the same SHIT. That's why the story is old. Uh, can we get a new story? Can. Let's see here. Five of Pentacles, and sometimes this person asks for money from you. This is my Asia card, okay? So you might be connected with someone who's Asian and decent. Decent, right? Or ethnicity, I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah. Because um, this is my Thailand card. <laughs> Hi, Thai. Sarawati Krap, okay? So the Five of Pentacles here, um, it shows like they don't want to talk to you, okay? They haven't been talking to you. Um, they're busy with their family, helping their grandparents, I'm seeing here. Um, they're taking care of the elderly. Um, can be with finances at the same time. They're being they're the person who supports their um, family. Now there has been some time that this person could have borrowed some finances from you, and they haven't returned that to you also. Okay, but you don't expect it to be returned though. When a Scorpio gives, a Scorpio gives. When a Scorpio gets betrays, a Scorpio never forgets. You can forget about the money. But honey, don't cross me. <laughs> there we go. So they've ghosted you for quite some time now. Um, the hangman and the three of cups, I give up. They always like to talk to people, flirt around. They feel like there is some sort of like Adonis. Have you seen it that? Adonis, it's what it's called, right? Mm -hmm. um, so they flirt around. They feel like, yeah, well, I, was that a woman's man. Is that a woman's man? No, that means a gentleman. This person is far from a gentleman. It's a youngin. Okay, they don't need. They don't even know how to be a man yet. The Prince of Pentacles. You know how to be a man. Provide for your women. Okay, hunt for the women. <laughs> be the provider. Okay. Yes, there is equality, but a man should be a man. Just saying. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yes, to my mom and to my siblings, everything has to be taken care of. Bye. Of course, a man has to be a man, a provider. The hangman with the three of cups here, um, it shows that, you know, it's like they're, you know, them being casual with people was where you say, it's like, you know what, keep your friends to your friends. You know, it's like, those are your friends that you call because they're always about them friends. That's the three of cups, okay? Person loves to go around. When they're not talking to you, they're also out with their friends. Mm. Under the Queen of Swords is the Four of Swords. You like your peace right now. You're very quiet. You just want to, you know, read a good book. You know, just stay at home. Um, I like the Scorpio because the Scorpio, they say, is the, mo the most like, ooh, they go out and stuff. They like to be by themselves. Trust me on that. Okay. It's a Scorpion. The Scorpions don't party. They do. They don't if they like someone. If there's no reason, they stay at home. They like to cuddle or just and sleep at home. Queen of Swords with the Four of Swords, it looks like you're taking a chill pill and a break from a break and a breakup, okay? So even from the whole activity in the world, you're saying, it's like, yeah, I like my time. I like my quiet time right now. I'm just enjoying my peace, okay? You're enjoying your peace because you're not involved with anyone. That's the thing. Underneath with the Five of Cups is a devil that I can't let go. Must be something about the bed, okay? Why they can't let go? Did you get the glamour box already? Because they love you. <laughs> okay. Tell them better get that. If they want you back, they better manifest you with that box. Mm -hmm. So, um, the devil with the five cups, um, Capricorn energy, um, they feel bound, bound by you. Okay, this is them. Now, five cups with the, with the devil is just drama. Just letting you know. They're just putting up an act. Because they know like you have the soft tea. Okay? Four of swords with the devil, you could care less. Yeah. I don't care, so. I don't care. I don't care what they want. Okay. I don't even know them. <laughs> they can keep dreaming, but I'm looking forward for my peace. Underneath the three of wands, oh, justice card. So clearly they thought about this and they want to make it right with you. Mm-hmm. Three of Wands with the Justice card. Libra is your 12th house. Yeah, you really broke up with this person. Foreign person. More than likely foreign land also because 12th house energy. Okay? 
um, it feels that this person is uh, um, trying to understand what to give you, but right now you surrendered. You surrendered while they feel still tied to you. Mm hmm Okay. Now, for the people who want to get some tea, because we're about to get warmer. Okay. We're halfway there, folks. Um, now, you could be with someone who has problems with the law, devil with a justice card. That's one thing. They could be um, they could be in trouble with the law. I don't know why they're saying that. Um, and you're just like, eh, that's their problem. Okay. Others, they work for the government. Okay. Let me see. Underneath the Five of Pentacles, we got Seven of Pentacles. So they like to ghost you. Okay. Now, this person recently traveled, um, not this recent, but probably in the last year. Because I see South America over here also. Okay. Machu Picchu, Brazil, South America. Okay. Um, Dominic is Dominican Republic there also? Yeah. DR. Mm -hmm. A lot my best friend is from DR. I need to call her. Okay. Seven, uh, seven of Pentacles here. Um, it feels like this person has been longing for you, waiting for a chance to be with you also. Okay. I'm seeing here someone who wants to also work in a, I don't know, a firm. can be like a law firm, but it's like a corporation I'm seeing. But a firm, okay? Might be getting an offer from a job. The cards will speak, by the way, guys. Remember, this is a card that talks too much. <laughs> so it gets random message. Okay. Okay, you might get invited to a social event also. Um, and just maintain social distance. Uh, five of Wands, my dental card. Is it them or is it you? You might need to go to a dentist card. Uh, a dentist soon. Okay, this is my dentist um, card in this deck. Um, five of Wands, Three of Cups, and the Hangman. It feels that you... In a way, it, this person irritates you right now. It feels that they're hindering your personal growth, your spiritual growth. Okay, five ones, three of cups. Prince of Swords, you found out something, you accuse them, they deny of it, and that's where you draw the line. Ah, I see, that's what happened here. So you can't forgive them for what they've done, and then to add, they even made an excuse. So it's one thing to get caught, but you better come up with the best excuse. Because if that excuse does not fly, you gotta go. This is what you're telling this person. Listen, you gotta go. There's the door. Get away from me. I don't want to be part of you. Mm -hmm. Underneath the devil is the prince of swords. Yeah. This person has a way of irritating you so much. I don't know why. <laughs> And the Ace of Swords. So for them, it's like, listen, I just want to talk to you. I just want to clear things. Um, and I just want to make things right. Justice with the Ace of Swords. By the way, that's their truth. Okay. So on their end, please give me another chance. Now, this person, if they haven't contacted you, that's the Ace of Swords. The ghost will talk. Hmm. You might be a psychic because you can, you're a medium if the ghost will talk. Mm-hmm. Nine of Wands with the Seven of Pentacles, it shows that you are either blocking this person, it's similar to the Libra also, you are blocking this person now from getting in touch with you. You have made it um, a point where, listen, this is where we draw the line. Gemini right here. It kind, It's a little bit irritating for you because it was a struggle for you to, um, how to say this, there was always a struggle between the two of you to be together. Look at that. Mm -hmm. The feminine is trying to pull the masculine out of the, you know, wherever the masculine is. And probably the masculine was in the temptation land, okay? Not in dreamland, but in temptation land, yeah. And that's what happened here. You know, like those are their, those are thorns over there. They always cause problem and you're always the one saving, you know, the relationship. And then you got tired. You got tired, boo, you know? I'm not your insurance policy, so I shouldn't be saving you every time. Mm -hmm. So you get you give up. Mm -hmm. You're giving up on them, Gemini. Plus, uh, sun and Gemini right now, sidereal as always. Um, then it only means that everything is coming to light. Underneath the Prince of Swords, 
Prince of Swords is the world card. So you either you cut this person during travel, this is a world card, or a person far from you, long distance relationship, you caught some you found out something, whatever that they were doing. Some sort of dishonesty, that's why you give up. Under the Prince of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles. Um, I feel like this person wants you because you were a provider of sort of stability for the Queen of Pentacles. Under the Ace of Swords, Two of Wands. I feel like it's funny because I keep saying that you get irritated, but you never really say, like, there is no tower, no death card. So it means that you are observing this person still. Yeah. You haven't really let go go, but you don't want them. It's almost like you just want to see how this, what this person will do to get back with you. Okay, I see you, girl. I see you. So you want to see that? Okay, then that's where we're going to go and extend it. So you want to see how this person, the proof is in the pudding. If they really want to be with you, because there's just a person who's fighting to be with you, but you have given up, they want to fight for it, then we'll see. Okay. Uh -huh. You got Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Justice is Libra. You got Capricorn, you got Virgo. Okay, ooh. Did you really get rid of the Leo? Because the Leo is here. No, Leo, oh, Leo is not here. Pisces is here. Mm hmm You must have got rid of them. Okay. So, you got Capricorn, yeah? I already said that. Alrighty. Oh, you got rid also of the Taurus. It's not here. Normally, they show up in the party. We got Earth sign, but we'll see and extend that. Those are just the zodiacs normally that come out in your read. Okay. So, anyhow. So, we'll see how this goes further. The proof is in the pudding. You want them to... You want to see how this person is going to make the move in action? We'll see. Okay. Oh. Um, don't forget, this Saturday is your webinar, Scorpio, the one and only Scorpio Ascendant and Moon. I'll be talking about um, finances for the Scorpio, love relationship for the Scorpio, all about the Scorpio and how you can be the best, Scorpio. It is your time once the node moves. Well, time in a way to prepare because the North Node and South Node will come and that is challenging times. But if you know how to, how to, you know, how to use it, meaning... Uh, to follow it, then it becomes benefic for you. Okay, it's Rahu K2. Okay, You're gonna bring relationship, You're gonna bring money, You're gonna bring material stuff. Okay, so <laughs> uh, and spirituality for K2, of course. Alrighty, so thank oh, and by the way, people might get removed from you because um, as soon as it's done with the Sag, it goes for the Scorpio. You might be clearing houses pretty soon. Okay, so let me continue this reading, guys. Check out the Glamour Crystal Box, it's down there. Everything that you need is going to be down there. Check out the elixirs, the spray, and the wonderful. How about you wear this also? So that we all twinsies. <laughs> Bye, Scorpios!